after a roadster, a cafe racer, a cruiser, the next bike in the 650cc lineup of Royal Enfield is this, a bobber, the shotgun twin 650. And not every one of you will be able to get this because this is a special bike. Only 25 of these will be made. Why is this so special? And how can you be one of those lucky 25? Well, let's find out. Now, what makes it special? Well, for starters, this tank that you see, well, this color scheme is inspired from the cyberpunk themes that we also saw on the SG650 concept back in ICMA 2021. But this color scheme has been hand painted. Yes, the tank, the side panels, and even the bob cut rear fender. Speaking of fenders, bob cut fender here, a much better and stealthy looking front fender, plus this headlight nacelle gives this bike a sporty look, which the Super Meteor sort of doesn't give you. And finally, when it comes to the styling elements, when you come and you take a look at this single piece seat, this floating element, this looks oh so cool. Now, like I had mentioned that this is going to be part of the 650cc lineup. And while Royal Enfield hasn't shared any specs of this motorcycle, we can certainly see that this crankcase, the finishing is quite different. None of the 650s, other 650s share this, especially this Royal Enfield side embossing on the crankcase. Now, unlike the Super Meteor with its traditional laid back cruiser stance, this bobber, the shotgun twin, is a little bit more sporty. And that starts off with the handlebar. This is nice, flat, and wide. So you sit in a commanding stance, you get these lovely bar end mirrors, and they are pretty neatly done as well. Then you get this floating seat, like I mentioned at the start. It isn't quite as low as the Super Meteor, but the midsection is quite narrow, so you can reach both of your feet on the ground pretty well. Lastly, the foot pegs. Now, they aren't coming from the front, but rather below your seat. So, these are mid-set and overall, this sporty stance will be great for hustling in the corners. Now, if you've got a keen eye, you'll also notice certain changes when it comes to the hardware that this bike is running or rather the hardware setup. So, you get the same chassis as the Super Meteor, same suspension, the front USD fork, but this USD fork has been sharpened slightly for a more agile and sporty intention. To that extent, even the front wheel, now this is a slightly smaller front wheel, and when you move to the back, you also notice that the rear wheel is smaller. So, technically with all of these changes that have been made, Royal Enfield has had to work on the suspension bit on it. How exactly will it be? Well, we'll get to that once we get to ride this bike sometime later in December. And finally, how can you be one of those lucky 25 people to get this bike? Well, you can go onto the Royal Enfield website, put your booking down for it, register for this bike, and only the lucky 25 wire, lucky draw, will be able to get this bike. But if you're not part of the lucky 25, don't worry, because Royal Enfield will be putting this bike into proper production later. It will not get these fancy colors, but still, you will be able to get a chance to buy this bike. That, as well as the deliveries of this 25 units, will be available from January onwards. What do you think about the Shotgun Twin 650? Do let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and share this video. Hit the subscribe button. Press the bell notification icon. Please wear all riding gear all the time when you're out on the road. Strap up the helmet and I shall see you soon.